Hi guys, in this video I'm going to walk you through a worked example of how to use and apply Hess's law to calculate an enthalpy change of combustion for a compound. Now in this worked example we're going to calculate the energy of combustion of methane. First of all we need to know the formula of methane. So meth means one carbon. It's a hydrocarbon so it's got carbon and hydrogens in it. Carbon forms four bonds, so CH4 is methane. And the first step, the first thing we have to do is write an equation for this reaction. Combustion just means burning, and we burn things in oxygen. And oxygen is O2. Oxygen goes round in twos. So methane plus oxygen we're going to assume it's complete combustion because that is what the definition for enthalpy of combustion says. So combustion products, complete combustion products for a hydrocarbon are carbon dioxide and water. Now this is unbalanced. We've got four hydrogens on the left, two on the right. So we put a big two here. Now we've got four hydrogens there. That's fine. Let's count the oxygens. 2, 3, 4, 2 on the left, so let's put a big 2 there. So now we've got 4 oxygens on the left, 4 on the right, and we are balanced. And since we want to calculate an enthalpy of combustion, that's what I'm going to write over this arrow. So delta, that triangle, that triangle is a Greek symbol called delta. It means change in, capital H, enthalpy, little c, combustion. Now, we need to draw a Hess cycle. When we want to calculate combustion, we actually have to use formation data. So the Hess cycle we want is going to look like this. And we have elements at the bottom because we're using formation values to calculate an energy change of combustion. Now, we could just write... Um, the elements that are involved, so carbon, hydrogen and oxygen, but we don't actually need to, it doesn't make a difference to our answer. So I'm just going to write the word elements. There we go. The next step is to label the two roots. So Hess's law states that the energy change going by root 1 is equal to the energy change needed to go by root 2. So I'm going to call this one root 1 and this one root 2. So Hess's law states that the energy needed for root 1 is equal to root 2. The next thing I'm going to do, I'll write this in purple, is collect the terms involved. Root 1 equals root 2. So in root 1, we have methane being formed from its elements. And over here, we've got some data values. So first, I'm going to write it in symbols. Then I'll put my numbers in so you can see exactly what I've done. So delta H formation of methane. We don't have a formation value for oxygen because it's an element. It's diatomic, but it's still an element in its standard state. We can't form an element. It's already in its simplest form. So there's no value for this. Delta HC, what we're trying to calculate, is also part of root 1. We're following these two arrows going clockwise. So let's add that on. Write it equal to what's in root 2. We've got one carbon dioxide, which is minus, oh wait, we'll do the numbers next. So delta H F C O two plus, oops, didn't leave enough space, two, we've got two lots of this, two delta H formations of water. Okay, so now let's put the numbers in. Delta H formation of methane is minus 75. Plus delta HC, we don't know what that is, we're working that out, is equal to formation of CO2 minus 394 plus 2 times minus 286 for the two waters. 
So I'm going to work this out and then my next step after I've worked out this side is to rearrange in terms of delta HC. Got minus nine six six now let's rearrange so we want delta HC by itself on this side this stays over here and we want to move this across the equals when we move sides we change signs. So change sides, change signs. So that negative becomes a positive. Plus 75. Let's work that out. Minus 891. Sounds good to me. And units of enthalpy change, kilojoules per mole. That's our answer. And does it look sensible? Yes, it does. It's got a negative on it and it should have. So we're expecting a negative exothermic value because combustions always have a temperature increase, which is exothermic negative delta H.